it's Brendan from The Hiking Club here. We have just launched an exciting new feature in our planning app that will be really useful for those preparing to hike the Tour de Mont Blanc in June and July. Thanks to our partnership with Exo Labs, which spun out of the University of Zurich, we have integrated two of their innovative snow layers into our map, which provides the hiking club community with access to the most up-to-date snow information on the Tour de Mont Blanc. The first layer, which I'll show you, is the expected current snow depth for every 20 by 20 meter quadrant across the entire trail. This means that instead of reviewing general snow depth and snow line information for the Mont Blanc region, you can look at where the snow is expected to be located and its depth along the entire Tour de Mont Blanc trail on our map. Let me show you an example of how that would be useful. If we look down here, the village of Le Chapeau, you'll see that in the valley here, you've got snow of up to a foot using the key. Whereas if you look up higher on the mountain, you will see that the snow depth is up to two meters at this point. Now this layer will ensure that early season hikers have the most up-to-date information on where the snow is located along the trail so they can prepare accordingly. Now, if you do want to avoid the snow, you can use our planning app along with this layer to do that as well. I'll give you two examples. One is here, uh, if you were planning to do the Col de Tricot alternate route between Les Uches and Le Contamini. And just before you go, you check out the map and you see that there's still a bunch of snow at Col de Tricot and you're not comfortable with that. You look at the alternate, which in this case is the main trail between Col de Vosa and Le Contamini, and you see that even today, um, it's mostly snow free. And so you can drag your route onto that main trail and you'll have your trail stats dynamically updated, which will feed into your itinerary report and uh, map files as well that you'll use to navigate the trail. Another example might be around this area, which is over near the Plan Praski area. So near La Brevent on the backside here, you've got some very steep terrain. It's normally a balcony section with some ladders and when snow's covering it, it's very difficult um, and a good one for most people to avoid until the snow is cleared. Now, you can look here and see this dotted mauve line on our map, which indicates that there's transport. And in this case, it's a Leprevent cable car. And you can drag your route onto that cable car. And so you know going into the hike that you have a way around um, this challenging area that forms part of your uh, main plan. Now, given we're a couple of months from the start of the hiking season, this layer is showing that only about 30% of the Tour de Mont Blanc trail is snow free at the moment, which is expected. So you've got the lower lying areas in the valley here where the trail crosses through Les Uches. You've got the Le Contamini Valley, uh, Montjoie Valley here where there's also snow free in the base of it. Around here in, in crossing over in Cormoyeur, it's also snow free there. And then when you look in the Swiss section, you've got sort of from near La Folie um, to past Champé Lac, Champé Denhout, and then over here in the Trion Valley as well between Col de la Forcler and just past La Puti. Um, but the rest of the trail, yeah, it's um, covered in snow as you would expect at this time of the year. But, you know, as we get closer to June, this information become highly valuable to determine where the snow is still impacting the trail so you can finalize the best route for you. Now the second snow layer I'll show you, so I'll take that one off, go back to our base map, which is a bit easier for planning, is a 48 hour snow forecast. Now if I turn this on, nothing sort of appears over the top, but if we come over here a little bit towards the mat, you will see that here, which is along the Monte Rosa Massive along the top of the range, you've got up to a, a foot of snow, which is forecast in the next 48 hours. Um, so those with experience in the Alps will know that even during the summer months, there is typically a couple of days of snow that will fall on the high parts of the trail. And this layer will be shown on the map where it's expected to accumulate and what its expected depth will be. Um, and, you know, when a snow system is approaching the Alps during summer, there's a lot of chatter about what the best thing is for everyone to do. And with this layer, Tour de Mont Blanc hikers who have planned their own trips will have clarity around how much snow is expected to fall and where on the trail. So you can make an informed decision um, around what's best for you. And given our map 
shows uh, you know where all the alternate routes are and the transport along the trail as well you will be able to use it to sort of determine what's the best changing plan is for you if, if there needs to be one. Now these two snow layers are updated daily from satellite imagery and weather station data and we're really proud to partner with Exo Labs and make them available to Tour de Mont Blanc hikers who have planned their own trip. Uh, you can see our partnership announcement for more details on that. Stay tuned for our trail updates program for the 2024 hiking season, which is going to include more reports that are related to our new snow layers, our break the trail hike, and then also reports from our wonderful ambassadors from the self-guided hiking community throughout the season.